of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, uh, we don't have a quorum. We want to officially call the meeting to order because we have to have a quorum to do that, but we can continue and discuss some things that uh, don't require voting as such. We can hear some reports. So with that being said, uh, Heather, would you like to step up and give us a report on the Area of Planning Commission? Uh, you're going to give us the annual review. Is that what this is? Yes, I have the end of the year report for 2021. Okay. Um, you want to you want to step up here so that the TV camera can pick you up? No. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm in the corner. <laughs> Actually, I have a couple other things. Okay. Yeah. All right. So in 2021, the office was fairly busy. Um, we did 941 total permits. Collected $101,458.89, up from $62,500 in 2020. Um, Rochester Township took in a total of 497 permits. Um, 327 of those were in the city of Rochester. So, pretty busy year. Yeah. So, that's the end of the year report. Any questions on that? Took me three months to get it to you, but here I am. Um, I do have, I'll be bringing, talking to Andy about it. I haven't yet. Um, I'm out and busy. I'll address this in my emails. The city council in 2015 affirmed uh, condemnation on the ice house. And I talked to you about this a while back. I'll be bringing that in front of you again okay. <laughs> to see what we can get done about this. Um, the 311 Fulton, we talked about that the other day. Um, I sent that over to Andy, so it's in his hands now. Yeah, well, if I could interrupt you, sure. where is that, Andy? Where, where is that one? Uh, because it's going to become a, a, a lien, I want to get a title search on that and name all mortgage companies or lien holders as parties when I file that. So I'm waiting on title search I heard yesterday. Okay. Thank you. And the other one we discussed. Um, Bellwood Acres. Bellwood Acres. Did you go out there and look at okay. No, it's in the county. Okay. It has two campers and a pickup truck. And that's it. So I'm not sure what the complaint was about, but... That was all they had. Hmm. It wasn't terrible. I wonder if we had the right house. That's why I was wondering. I was going to email you and then. Is there one on the other side? Oh, okay. You said right next door, Julie. Yeah, they went right next door and there was two campers and a pickup truck. I mean, I can send something for the camper because it should sit on the side of the house, but I mean, really, it wasn't terrible. You talked like, talk like this was a mm -hmm. second junkyard coming down the trail. Yeah, I mean, the one camper was a little beat up, but nothing too terrible. Um, okay. So we did look at that and then other than that, I mean, we're just working for it at the motel today again, so. Yeah. Their list is actually getting smaller of what needs to be done, so they are working on things that they're supposed to. It's not <clears throat> quite up to par from what the public wants, but they are working on it. Yeah. Just, boy, we have enough of these to deal with. We can't have any more, can we? Sure. <laughs> uh, I know you need something to do, but you'd rather do other things. <laughs> but I, I appreciate you you're, you're taking a look at the one property. And mm -hmm. Sometimes people approach you and uh, they have an opinion of what we can do and yeah, really and don't understand. And I was going to email you, and like I said, and then I had to be at the motel this afternoon um, just to make sure we had the right property, but Skip didn't notice anything else out there that like, stood out that maybe he did have the wrong one. But the one camper did have a tarp on top of it and a boarded up window, so I don't know. Maybe was there any was... other house close by? <clears throat> Not that he's seen. Okay. So... Okay. Then it was probably the right one. Yeah. Okay. But I, so we can send a letter because RVs are supposed to sit on the side of the house and this one sits in the front, but that's really all I can send a letter for. Okay. So. Okay. Well, thank you oh, for that. Right. You, any, any questions? questions? I, uh, I did, uh, as I mentioned before we went on camera, I did pass out a picture of each one of you guys. This is the... Uh, Carol, you want to record this? <coughs> Since it's not really a meeting? Well, you didn't push... No, you don't have to if it's not a meeting, right? You don't have to if it's not a meeting. You don't have don't to. Don't have to if it's not a meeting. Does Sean like listening to him? 
Oh, absolutely, she does. Push the button. All right. <laughs> she, she'll check it out on TV. Um, what she wants, what she doesn't want to hear, is that we're blaming the fact we don't have a forum on her. She's not here today. Everybody's on spring break apparently. The uh, picture that I passed out is of the school view lift station that we completed uh, back in uh, October. Uh, to satisfy the requirements of the jail, and I, what I realized was, is, is, you know, this picture hangs on the uh, the wall of pride in there, but I had not shown it to any of you folks. I thought you might like to see it. It turned out really, really well out there. The, uh, the Bancroft Construction folks, TGB of Mishawaka, they they did this. And they're the ones that uh, I think I mentioned to you are 75 percent of their workforce is former veterans mm. and they just they knock it out of the park they do a great job uh, the other thing i left for you to take home and uh, peruse at your leisure that uh, we would like to get on the agenda and, and, uh, and take care of for the, at the next meeting is a uh, Memorandum of Understanding and a resolution that Attorney Perkins put together for us to cover the uh, Minnow Creek project. As we stated before, we are taking on the reconstruction, cleaning, maintaining of Minnow Creek within the city limits. We've had quite a bit of discussion back and forth with the county. Uh, started with some uh, documentation that the, the surveyor resurrected from 1947, Andy Perkins? Some of it earlier than that, yeah. That, uh, uh, well, basically said that the agreements were made that the city would take care of, of that. Uh, then that was negated in 1964 by the state. The counties couldn't uh, Essentially, yeah. Yeah. You had to uh, you had to do a little more of a formal situation to relinquish that responsibility from the county to a municipality. Correct? Is that a fair statement? Well, the, the statute put all the regulated drains under or under the drainage board. Under the drainage under board. Under the drainage yeah. board, and there was nothing, uh, and included those created by courts going back in the twenties and thirties, and so. And uh, per the uh, per the surveyor, what? Your ditch assessment that you see on your <coughs> property tax, that's uh, for predominantly for, min, or for uh, Mill Creek. Mill Creek doesn't get any of that. So uh, we've decided, okay, the, uh, the prudent thing to do here is to jump in and grab hold of this while we were establishing the uh, particulars and the process for uh, the uh, stormwater utility, which you'll be hearing more about as we move forward and include this as part of uh, moving that forward. Um, Dwayne Border uh, has taken uh, the responsibility to kind of put his arm around that project. We've had an excavator company come out and clean it out as best they could uh, from down there at the gas station on the south end of town all the way through Riddle School and such and all the way out. And I had a resident uh, text me just yesterday saying, whatever you guys did, keep doing it because it's flowing wonderfully and staying out of their yards. And that's what we're seeing. They're going up in the yards. We've had an engineering study done and the piping and such for layman's terms is uh, needing to be enlarged mm -hmm. it's pretty and some of it's damaged and such so we'll we'll be tackling that we're working with uh, okra rural community affairs folks uh, they have a uh, process to uh, apply for grant money so we can get up to six hundred and sixty some thousand dollars if we're successful and uh, we have a grant company that we were working with that has been working with us since the waste treatment plant project that will help us wrap our arms around that because this you know creek project's over a million dollar project to get it where it needs to be um, we've
put it together. Uh, if you went and looked in the project room in there on the whiteboard, you'll see that this project is broken down into four phases. So it will be a four year process to complete it. It's not a small job, but, uh, but it's, it's one that's necessary. So this will be under that tent as well. So that's, uh, that's why you kind of had that picture and also this memorandum of understanding and resolution, which if it looks okay to you guys, it looks good to me, uh, we'll act on it at the next meeting and then present it to the county for them to act on it as well, basically handing it over to us. And then it won't be on a cocktail napkin from 1934 or someplace, right? <laughs> it's, it's amazing what some of these things get recorded on. It, it, it is right, kind of humorous. So we're going we're gonna to have it scripted and done right. Okay. Question for you, Mayor. Sure. Would a memorandum like this also work for the Fulton County Transpo, the garage? That are, could, could that be done? We're still in, looking at that. We're okay. still, still kind of rolling that around. Uh, that, that could be a little different, and then here I'm, I'm wondering into the legal lease. That area. has an existing lease, doesn't it? It does, sure. and it also was the uh, product of a federal grant that was the county's, they were the sponsors right. for that. So to have that <laughs> given to us, there might be some hoops to jump through. Gotcha. Uh, you know, again, that's one of those that, uh, what's the mo most prudent thing to do there? If we, if we can resurrect that grant paperwork, and so far, we haven't been able to find anything, and the county hasn't been able to find anything. Right. So, yeah, good question. But I think the, the, the federal grant thing is a little sticky. We're, we're, we're researching that. That makes sense, yeah. Um, we are, since you did bring it up, though, we are, as you probably know, we are doing some work over there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. <coughs> working with Kimberly, we've gotten the... Um, drainage issues taken care of on the outside. Uh, Lewis uh, came in and did some boring and such and got uh, got an outlet going there. So we're getting the, the, the runoff water from the buildings going into the right places, yeah. uh, flooding the area. And we're, we're going to continue to do more. The, the LED lighting project we'll be moving forward with, the uh, uh, repairing and uh, sealing and striping of the parking lot. We're, we're working forward with that and uh, the repair of uh, uh, the uh, landscaping on the outside uh, eliminate some of the bushes and put in just a general <coughs> landscaping and uh, just so you know this center itself using their own funds they're going to repaint in the hallways and do some uh, just some sprucing up of the interior they're, they're just doing that. Well, the price of materials today, they could mortgage the place to buy a gallon of paint. My gosh. Oh, no. It's 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so thank, yeah. thank them for us. That, that, that's yeah. good stuff. We had Doug over here a few weeks ago and sat down and talked about all this and then created a punch list. And uh, we're going to do what we can do to get things, I mean, that's a that's a resource and an asset. Sure. Whether part of it's county owned or part of it's city owned, we just need to protect it. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions on that memorandum of understanding? Probably not till you guys digest it a little bit. Okay. Andy, Shot, you want to give us a police sure. report? Yeah, uh, for the month of February, there were 26 accidents, 23 total warnings issued, 46 offenses, 29 case reports, 462 calls for service, 22 lockouts, five towed vehicles, and nine people incarcerated. And then you have the list of crimes that those people were lodged for. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> I'm sure most of you know we lost two officers to Logan's Fort, um, officers. 
Andy and McIntyre, they both have gone to Logan's Fort. They both live there. Um, their last day was March 13th, so they're off the schedule now. Uh, we had three applications turned in. We've got testing Saturday. Um, we did hire Gerardo come back. He left uh, two years ago, three years ago now maybe. And three went years to Florida. Ago now. Yeah. And went to Florida. Um, I, I've talked to him ever since he left. Um, I know he's been wanting to come back kind of. He finally talked his wife into it. I'm not sure <laughs> how happy she is about it, but they're coming back. Uh, it looks like his start date is going to be April 18th, so that'll be good. Um, we've still got two that need to go to the academy. Brady Briggs goes to the academy in May, and then Bryce Michael will go in August, and then we've got testing for the final position this Saturday for the three that turn in applications. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's about it. Dispatcher. Yeah, we did hire a new dispatcher. Uh, we got one uh, retiring, Dinah Gillen. She's been here <clears throat> longer than I have, 25 plus years. She's retiring in April. Uh, so we hired her replacement, um, Catherine Dively from the Fulton area. So she started Monday trying to get her trained so there's not much of a, not much downtime when Diana leaves from the time she can start. That's all I got to think, unless you can think of anything else. Unless you have questions. Right hand, uh, we're not to, we're not in any desperate straits. We're down one officer, and we've got some rookies, right? Yes, we've got That's, some rookies. Uh, we're down an officer. Um, one's out injured, but he'll be back next Tuesday. So, yeah. Yeah. We, and the good news is. Uh, we have more senior folks than we have rookies, so there's some nice mentors around there. And Ostrom will make a nice mentor. He's a very seasoned officer. He is. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to see him come back. He, he didn't see him leave. I did too. Uh, but you know, things come up in life, and sometimes you got to, what is it they say, Todd? Uh, life is nothing but day to day choices. And sometimes you have to retract. I think it goes yeah. happy wife, happy life. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but we're, yeah, we're happy to have you back. Any questions for the chief? Okay. Um, Dwayne and Randy both had uh, other obligations tonight, so I thought, you know, I promised uh, to go through some of the projects I've already talked about a couple of them, uh, the waste treatment plant project, the biggest thing we have on the board, uh, $7.5 million project, which uh, uh, we're Gantt charting to be completed by uh, the end of September, middle of October, and we're meeting monthly, well, every other week, I should say, so twice a, twice a month for construction meetings in here. Next one's the 31st we get a full report of how it's all going. There's nine phases involved in completing it out there. And uh, just talking to Marcus uh, uh, yesterday about when we get it uh, completed, we want to have everybody come out and take a, take a tour. So, um, <clears throat> just, just for this group's information, the, the $7.5 million loan that we uh, took out with the state, state revolving fund, uh, the leachate program that I was talking about that you were questioning me about, we took in half a million dollars uh, last year, which was our first year of processing. Well, we're forecasting about a million dollars uh, this year, and it continues to uh, run, run about that level, uh, 10 to 12 million gallons a year being processed. That money uh, exclusively pays the loan. Uh, we don't have to raise any of the utility rates or anything to cover anything being done. That, that's taking care of our payment there. So that's been a, a good thing. Um, the, uh, the other, uh, 
we've got a couple other projects that we're using uh, ARPA funds for. Uh, a couple of smaller projects are we've, we've defined a couple of water mains, uh, one in Fox Run, which is west of town. And uh, the other one out, Deer, Deer Run, which is the east town, east of town, but they were the end of the line mains, and this is going back a couple years. We're not moved, so we can get a better performance and better pressure and less brown water and such if we loop those two lines. So we've got we got about uh, four hundred thousand of the ARPA funds, which. You guys allowed us to use for these types of things committed to that leaving about a million uh, for our main street project the downtown project where we will continue with what NDOT left off and you know go from uh, 8th street or 9th street all the way out to 2nd street uh, the process uh, is going to be in two phases and we were just going over it yesterday and discussing uh, the issues uh, that we'd have to face, uh, the biggest one being the car show in October. Uh, construction will start around July, and we will we'll put, we'll be putting the bids together and such, and it will start on the uh, north side and head this way, and uh, we told them the car show folks that you can count on coming down and utilizing Fifth Street like you have in the past. Last year I think they encroached and went a little farther. This year they will they will stop at Fifth Street because that's where the construction will, will meet them. Uh, that will be in the uh, this first year, this year. Uh, the first quarter then of next year the start will be for the rest of it to finish it. And when that's done, boy, we'll have storm sewers that are they're just great, and the street will be in good shape and such. So, so it's going fifth to? Well, it's going second. Going from second down ninth. to fifth? First phase. Yeah, yeah, first phase. Uh, that does a couple things for us. It allows us some flexibility in handling the downtown situation. And about May, we're going to bring the merchants into a meeting business owners downtown into a meeting with our charts and pictures and everything, engineering the, the plan, and go through it with everybody so everybody on Main Street will know exactly what, what we're facing and what we're looking for as far as traffic control. We don't know, uh, the chief will be involved, we're, we're going to be looking at the one-way streets, we're going to be looking at all sorts of things to see how to best handle traffic and not disrupt our downtown very much. So it's kind of a balancing act, but we've got some very good people working with it. It'll be great when it's done. It'll be great when it's done. Uh, you know, as a downtown investor, you kind of hate to see water come up over the curb running towards your door. Yeah. Don't really like that. And so we're gonna we're gonna rectify that. I don't know if you've been past First Federal lately, but they don't seem to flood down there anymore. We got that pretty well knocked. In in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Really is. Uh, that is kind of uh, a Reader's Digest version of some of the projects we are just deeply into right now. The others uh, are all laid out and uh, scheduled to come after these. We can only take so many bites of the elephant at a time. One of them that's going to be a, a big one that we've got about two years, the engineers tell us, to, to put together and formulate is the pool. The pool is in heavy, heavy, heavy disrepair, or well, it's not disrepair, age, age. And uh, so we'll be, we'll be rolling with that one down the road, but that, that's going to be a big number too, and we'll be looking for grant monies and such to help with that. But, you know, all involved, I uh, believe that's a very, very important resource and asset for our community, so we're going to do everything we can. We get it all done in a couple of years. It, uh, it will be uh, a pool. It will be uh, a water 
place. It may not look, well, I'm pretty sure it won't look exactly like it does today, because what we've got today was 1960, you know. It'll be, uh, it'll be different, but it'll be fun. It'll be good. So that, that's, that's just kind of a rundown of some of the things we're into. And I would invite you folks, if you're down this way any time other than a meeting, stop by. We'll take you in the project room, go through 16 of them with you. <laughs> yeah, it, it is funny. We established this room. OK, we got them all on the whiteboard. We got, and what we do is we have these meetings, these construction meetings and these planning meetings, and then we update the whiteboard. So anybody can go in at any time and look at project number five. Okay, that's the water line. Okay, Fox Run, here's what's going on, whatever. If it's blouse and grant, here's what's going on with the grant. It's all, it's all right there in one view. Well, I came in one day. This is the humor of the folks I work with. I blame her. I think she's an instigator. <laughs> and uh, in the middle of the conference table was a bat phone. <laughs> uh, not hooked up, but <laughs> it's a bat phone. <laughs> what symbol does that shoot up I, into the sky? Do I don't know? know. I don't know. <laughs> but all I know is this is what really irks me. Shotty keeps calling me Robin. <laughs> oh shoot! So that that's that's uh, what's going on. Um, going down the uh, reports of the committees, uh, looking at a couple things there under the redevelopment commission. You got uh, Brett Kernett listed there. Uh, Brett is now the uh, president of the redevelopment commission. And uh, those of you who met Brett, he's the uh, CFO out at, uh, out at uh, uh, Shepherd's car dealership, uh, the GM dealership. Very, very sharp fellow. He was the uh, interim mayor for a time for Tipton. And is from that area, is now relocated to the lake, lives here in Rochester. And wanted to be actively involved in our economic development process. He's been a really, really good find. And, uh, so we're, we're working and doing some doing different things going forward there. Um, Marty, do you want to talk about the, the VZA and the Council on Aging? I, I will be very brief. Uh, I was unable to attend Council on Aging yesterday, and I don't have a copy of those minutes yet. Uh, BZA is uh, tomorrow night, and Heather's more apt to know this, but I guess one thing on the agenda, I think it's going to be a fairly for... short meeting, fairly small, it's about signage. Mm -hmm. So, for Columbia School? I have That's a, my report. I have a question for her since she brought that up, the BZA meeting tomorrow night. Uh, one of your BZA members is being considered for the commissioner's position tonight. One of our county BZAs. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would... Uh, We'd lose him if he got it. I see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Okay. I have a question real quick, though. The Redevelopment Commission oh. for tomorrow morning? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's next week. Next week. Yeah. Uh, the 30th at 8.30. Okay. Don't do that. Shada does that to me. Well, I have it on my calendar for tomorrow, but now that I thought about it. Yeah. So, because I was going 30. to be here tomorrow, but I won't be able to make it on the 30th now because I have a seminar at 9. So. Okay. okay. Where's your seminar? It's on Zoom. Oh, okay. It's, on the office, but it's from 9 to 12.30. Okay. So. Um, but I did have it on the calendar for tomorrow. I asked. Would you have, seriously, would you have time to stop in at 8.30 and introduce yourself? Yeah, so the, I just won't be able to get into discussion. No, that's, I, that's I fine. I did want to talk to him about a few things. Um, I won't have time that morning. Um, okay, yeah. But yeah. I, I think they'd like, some, some of them don't know who you are, mm -hmm. and I think they'd like to meet And he's here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Todd, uh, your report on solid waste and animal adoption. Sure. 
the uh, animal adoption group did not meet this month. They'll be meeting next month. Uh, solid waste group <coughs> did meet, and uh, they shipped out 116 tons of recyclables at a value of $15,000. $222. Uh, month of December, the uh, county line landfill received 40,962 tons of waste. 14% of that was from Fulton County. And in January, the landfill received 33,036 tons. 18% of that was from Fulton County. Okay, did, they, did they report if any is from out of state? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me check here. Uh, there was 15, 16 tons out of state in December and 13 tons out of state in January. So it's a fairly small considering the total was almost 41,000 tons and 33,000 tons. Okay. Um, county host fee that we received from December was 17,601 and 13,546 in January. were able to purchase a new skid loader with funds that they had saved and are looking now at fixing up the Akron trailer site. And that was the end of it. Any questions? You may not know the answer to this, Tom, but at any given time, are there a number of puppies at, this, at, at the animal shelter? Or there often are. Yeah, um, I don't know if you would find one every single day because usually the puppies go fairly quickly, okay. but they do have often. Yeah. You looking for a puppy? No. Oh, no. okay, okay. But I have a family. Those of you out there, there don't, don't drop puppies off. No. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> just, I do have a family member that might be. I could just call before you go out there and ask what's available. I haven't been out there recently, so I'm not sure what they have right now. But uh, yeah, I'm sure they could give you a rundown if you want to call. What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I should have asked after the meeting. <laughs> you should have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, anything else for Doug? Brian? Anything for Doug? How about Fed Kill? No. I think I'm at March 11th. <clears throat> um, we FICO closed on the two lots that I reported last month. Uh, those were sold. Oh, great. Now it's a meeting. Well, we call, we'll call it a meeting uh, after you give your report. <laughs> okay. um, Tiffany did speak to another uh, business that's possibly interested in purchasing another lot there at uh, Black Hitter. Um, there's been some difficulties. Who, who has purchased the two lots? I can't remember. John, you remember the name? I can't remember who it. Um, Dan, Hol Dan Holtz. Dan Holtz. Dan Holtz. Was he, was he Troll? Detroit? No. Oh. No. I don't remember. Okay. Dan Hello. Holtz, though. No. I'm not sure who he is. He's from the Elkhart area. Thank you. For the, Jillian, are you, are, you, are you privy to say for what purpose? <clears throat> if I was privy to that, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. <laughs> so it's just Dan Holtz from the Elkhart area. I don't, yeah, I don't remember what the business is. <clears throat> okay, there's a... Uh, been a little difficulty communicating with NIPSCO regarding the gas line on the property. Um, typically they want to work with the, the property owners, but we're trying to assist um, and get that worked out. 
Ted Wagner reported that the loan agreement with RAMC was good to go. Trust me, he worked that out with me. Because Andy, you asked me about that question. You guys, that's all worked out. So. Um, the organizational, organizational assessment, um, a lot of you guys may have already seen an invite for stakeholders. Um, there are going to be meetings from April 7th to the 12th uh, at the Learning Center. And that's just to get feedback from the stakeholders and, you know, some things they might want to see directions to go. Um, uh, the first pitch competition will be held at the Rochester High School on the 31st and it will be open to the public. Um, the next level business class will begin in April. We received the AHEC annual report at this meeting. Um, FEDCO is currently working with Rich Investments and meeting about their T-Mobile grant uh, on the 11th, met with them. And we did approve the B&B manufacturing tax abatement. And this is a little outdated because I'm sure you, everyone saw this spread in the paper, but Rick Figlio presented a letter from the Board of Works about a potential buyer for the old jail. It was discussed, and Brian Lewis is going to reach out to the individual to follow up about their last meeting. And that was it. <coughs> I'm just curious if anybody's been able to go welcome the B&B folks and see how they're doing. What was the question? The B&B folks? Mm -hmm. What's the question? Has anybody yeah, they're reached they're out them. to them? And yeah. Yep, they've hired their general manager, and yeah. now they're looking for their CNC operators. Anything for they are hiring. They are hiring, yes, they are. Yes. Signs being held up in a lot of places. Okay. No questions for uh, Councilman Goodman. I will call our regular meeting to order <coughs> since we have a quorum and uh, we have one piece of business to attend to since we now have a quorum. Uh, it's the American Axle personal property tax abatement renewal. Was anyone going to be here? Del supposed to be? I don't think so. I'm going to read what he's got there. It's just the renewal. Uh, Carolyn, you know what year this is in this? Nope. It simply was handed to me. I don't know anything about it. I don't remember what year this is. I didn't see it on that phone. Yeah, when I looked at it, I couldn't, I couldn't come up with it. About halfway through the abatement. Yeah, I think. Did we do, did we do a seven or ten? I think it's ten. I believe. The numbers look good, for sure. Yeah, the estimated on the SB1, 45 employees are actually 42. Salaries are down. It does say estimated completion date of 131.23. Is this a hand? Then, okay, it's, it, it could be a seven year thing. Or, or was it for you to see that? Yeah. Yeah, this was a this was a five year abatement for the machinery, equipment, tooling and such. <coughs> yeah. So they've got one more year. Well they have uh, overperformed in number of employees and <coughs> Addition of this machine. Uh, Brian Simpson, their uh, tax director, says the uh, return does not reflect any uh, abated assets due to the project not being completed yet. So, yeah, they've got another, we approve it, they've got another year after this. The numbers do look uh, appropriate. To, they're, they're, they're completing what they said they were going to complete. Do we need a motion to renew? Yeah. 
If you're looking for a motion, I move to approve. Councilman Smith moves to approve. Do I have a second? Second by Councilman Wilson. Those in favor of approving the abatement for another year? And it's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Attorney Perkins, do you have anything tonight? No, I think you touched on a couple things that we've been working on. That, that you were, okay. Mm -hmm. Mayor, Brian, I, I don't know about oh, his yeah. report. Are you, are, you, uh, are you at liberty to report on where you were and what the outcome was? As far as I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, you didn't, you didn't take any uh, blood oath or anything. Uh, okay. I can't say. <laughs> how, how did it turn out? It was fine. We had the, the caucus to replace Steve Metzger and Dave Summers yeah. was chosen to, to replace him. Get sworn in tomorrow morning and take move forward. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we uh, go to the tree board. Or oh, yeah. Go ahead and do us tree, tree board. Tree board met. Uh, <clears throat> Buford's Tree Company uh, came, two representatives came introduce themselves, uh, they're going to get into the process to submit bids for tree removals and everything else. Uh, seem like two nice guys, but hopefully we'll see how they do. Uh, tree, uh, they're working on the uh, Arbor Day, uh, what are we going to do for Arbor Day this year? Uh, in the past two years they said, well, you guys don't have to do anything because of COVID. Just submit your reports and you've been nice. And, you're going back to, you, you must do the plan again, which we've been doing for the past 23, 24 years, so. Yeah, I mean, we, I've always done an Arbor Day right. proclamation. But I'm saying they're, they're getting back to the, you must do these things now. I see. Um, so at some point, though, we'll figure out what that is, get a proclamation done, and, and get it forward. Uh, getting, starting to get ramped up on the, you know, being able to do, Tree trimmings again, and we we'll work with the uh, street department. We'll better coordinate with the tree inventories. The uh, street department says, there, "If you take a tree down, let us know. That way, we can take off the inventory, and uh, new things get planted. Not so much as their job to do it, but just to report you know, communication between the, the group departments." And, and hopefully, once the weather gets nicer. Planting more trees, so we keep the <laughs> the, the requirements for the tree saving. And that's all I know. Okay. Any questions for Brian? Okay. One other piece of business, so we can do some signatures here. Uh, anybody have any corrections or additions to the minutes from the last meeting? If not, I'd entertain a motion to accept the minutes. Motion by second. Wilson seconded by Fitzwater. Those in favor? Four of you. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. <laughs> adjourn. Thank you. I let my call run. Probably wise. <laughs> so we'll have to wait for you to have Who seconded that? For the. Well. I got the first one. I want you all to this one just read it for the right. It's a group. Did you do the first one too? Second the first one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. He did. Okay. Sure. Okay.